working long hours every week could be bad for your health. And doctors could one day use your Facebook profile to screen for depression. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with this morning's health headlines. Good morning, guys. So researchers found certain language in status updates could accurately predict depression months before a diagnosis. Those red flags include expressions of loneliness, hostility, and sadness, and the words tears and feelings. People later diagnosed with depression also used more first person pronouns like on Facebook, like the word I and me. This study involved more than half a million Facebook posts from nearly 1200 people. Working less could help you live longer. The average U.S. employee works about 40 hours per week. Working more than that has been linked to negative changes to your health. Now researchers say working fewer hours each week could help make you healthier. They say it causes less stress, helps you get more sleep, and allows you to spend more time with loved ones. A shorter work week can also encourage a person to take part in leisure activities and exercise. And finally, yesterday's royal baby announcement means Meghan Markle will become a first-time mom at age 37. Even though the CDC says the average age of mothers is getting older, doctors consider some pregnancies after 35 to be risky. The advanced maternal age has been referred to as a get this geriatric pregnancy. Mm, mm, mm. The risks that go along with it include a chance of miscarriage. Moms older than 35 also have a higher risk for complications like high blood pressure and gestational diabetes. And they tend to carry a higher chance of preterm birth and increased likelihood of birth by C-section. Because of the risks, older mothers usually go through a more intense treatment plan with additional monitoring. And maybe it's because of that that doctors say that despite all the risk, most geriatric pregnancies turn out just fine. Halloween is two weeks away, so it's time to figure out the costumes. But coming up at 640, I've got warnings from a pediatrician about unsafe dresses, shoes, and how to make sure your kid's costume is not putting them in harm's way when it comes to them running around near traffic. Yeah, big time. Lots of things to think about. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I've got a whole list for you coming up in about an hour. All right, perfect. Thank you, Haley. Haley, thanks Appreciate so much. It.